This is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. We are finishing our devotional on purpose. And so today we're going to talk about just resting and fulfilling purpose, right? Um, what does that mean? That really once we look at the definition of what purpose is that God has intended us to do good works for his glory and specifically going just all the way through the book of Ephesians chapter one, all the way through chapter three, we see that that he's that God is saying that his intent is that we would be unified to demonstrate his manifold wisdom and make known to the rules and authorities of the heavens who God is. And so again, this is an this is an expansion of what it means to give God glory. We show forth that he is God, that he's powerful and that he's good. But we can't do that if we're distracted with these things that um for most people is what they spend their whole life doing. They are um, walking around feeling like um, if they're not some accomplished person by the world standard, then they have not achieved their purpose. And um, I don't want you to be one of those people who walk around having this uh, chip on your shoulder that you need to achieve some human stat level of status and accomplishment sure god's gonna bring you wherever he wants to bring you and he's gonna do with you what he chooses to do with you and some people will be great some people will be um will be very prosperous some people will be um successful by the world standards successful by god's standards and every other standard and that's that's gonna happen at the same time, though, we're not looking for this world to determine what success is for us. If we were created for something, we should be doing what we were created for. That is truly our purpose. And that gives us some freedom, right? It gives us freedom to influence um, others and to show forth the glory of God in every realm and any realm that we encounter people, because that's what he's asking us to do. He's saying, look, from Ephesians 1 all the way to Ephesians 3, he says, look, you are blessed because of this work that God has started in you. <laughs> That's Ephesians 1. He said, look, he knew what he was doing when he made you. He made you for his glory to do this great work. He adopted you. He engrafted you into this family to do this great work. And then Paul says uh, in Ephesians, um, later on in Ephesians 1, he says, look, and I would that you would understand this with some wisdom, that you would have some wisdom endowed by the spirit that you would understand what great things God has put in you to accomplish like this is a big deal is basically what he's saying and he says you've been made alive in Christ you have been given this new opportunity through salvation to manifest these things that you could not have manifested if you were just working on your own in this own world system he said but Christ has made you alive again and empowered you towards this greater bigger eternal purpose that I'm that I'm saying to you and then he says, and you're one in that purpose, you know. And so when you get later on into Ephesians chapter 2, he says, look, you are one in Christ. You are one in this purpose, unified together to give glory to God. And then 3, he says, and this is what God wants you to do, right? Ephesians 3 and verse 10, it says, his intent was this, was that now through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. In him through faith and in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged because by, because, sorry, because of my suffering for you, which are your glory. And so what is he saying? Listen, God accomplished what his purpose was in Christ Jesus. And he wants to continue to accomplish that in Christ Jesus. And what was that purpose? He's bringing us into relationship unto the understanding that the magnitude of the love of God says that he would, that none would perish. He would, that none would fall apart, right? What Christ did was he created unity between God and man. And he said, I want you to continue that work, right? You're not going to be the sacrifice because Christ was the sacrifice. But if you are in the place to say that God is good, his 
his love endures and he wants relationship with you. If you advance the kingdom and show forth the wisdom of God, the love of God, the power of God, that is your united purpose. I want you to do that. That was his intention to bring forth that glory, which he manifests in Christ Jesus. That's what he wants. And he's saying, listen, you can do it. You can do it too. Because of salvation, you have been an inheritance of this great work. And I want you to show that forth. If you're a doctor, I want you to show it. If you're a teacher, I want you to show it. This is what I want you to do. And so I think that we need to be mindful that we rest in our own place in order to see the greater work, right? Not rest in a way that we're not doing our jobs. Do your job, but do it in a way in which you're not striving for the achievement or the acknowledgement of this of this earth, but you're knowing that God is getting glory in everything that you're doing. And in every place of the journey, they, God knows that you recognize what he has intended for those who believe in him um, to do. You're advancing the kingdom. Can you do that? You can only do it when you find rest and realize that it's through Christ, it's through salvation that we've been empowered to really achieve purpose. And there should be a place of oh, relief. For those who have been striving for other things, those who have been thinking that they only have one purpose in life and they're not sure if they're really ever going to achieve it, we should just find rest and recognize that God will lead us to the places he wants us to go, to the specific assignments he wants us to do. And when we get there, our character in him needs to be girded up, right? It needs to be developed so that we can show forth the greater purpose that God is trying to achieve in us. Well... That's the end of our devotion on purpose. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing that purpose is not always what we think it is. And we don't need to run around chasing a dream or a hope or, or anything else. When we have Christ, our hope is in Christ. And it's not about the medals or the achievements. It, we have achieved when we believed in him. And so I want to encourage you in that. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. We will see you again on Monday morning, bright and early, with another of our devotionals. Until then, be blessed.